Well, welcome back to DJX. Uh, yesterday I had to take apart the computer and clean it and everything. Uh, it doesn't sound very pretty now, but it's running a little bit better, and I hope that holds up. If not, I'll have to buy replacement parts. But anyway, this is The Nightmare Lake by H.P. Lovecraft. There is a lake in distant Zahn beyond the wonted haunts of man, where broods alone in a hideous state, a spirit dead and desolate, a spirit ancient and unholy, heavy with fearsome melancholy, which from the waters dull and dense draws vapors cursed with pestilence. Around the banks a mire of clay sprawled things offensive and decay, and curious birds that reach that shore are seen by mortals nevermore. Here shines by day the searing sun on glassy wastes beheld by none, and here by night pale moonbeams flow into the deeps that yawn below, and nightmares only is it told what scenes beneath those beams unfold. What scenes too old for human sight lie sunken there in endless night, for in those depths there only pace the shadows of a voiceless race. One midnight, redolent of ill, I saw that lake, asleep and still, while in the lurid sky there rode a gibbous moon that glowed and glowed. I saw the straight marshy shore, and the foul things those marshes bore, lizards and snakes convulsed and dying, ravens and vampires putrefying, all these, and hovering over the dead, narcofoggy, that on them fed, and as the dreadful moon climbed high, frightening the stars from out the sky, I saw the lake's dull water glow till sunken things appeared below. There shone unnumbered fathoms down the towers of a forgotten town, the tarnished, tarnished, oops, the tarnished domes and mossy walls, weed tangled spires and empty halls, deserted fanes and vaults of dread and streets of gold uncoveted. There I beheld and saw beside a horde of shapeless shadows glide, a noxious horde which to my glance seemed moving in a hideous dance round slimy sepulchres that lay beside a never-traveled way, straight from those tombs a heaving rose that vexed the water's dull repose, while lethal shades of upper space howled at the moon's sardonic face. Oops. While lethal shades of upper space howled at the moon's sardonic face, then sank the lake within its bed, sucked down to caverns of the dead, till from the reeking new stripped earth curl foated fumes of noisome birth, about the city nigh uncovered, the monstrous dancing shadows hovered, when lo, there opened with sudden stir the portal of each sepulchre. No ear may learn, no tongue may tell, what nameless horror then befell. I see that lake, that moon a-grin, the city and the things within. Walking, I pray that on that shore the nightmare lake may sink no more. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.